This is La Coronella by ER Shabba. It's 428.21 megabytes download. Now this does actually require three mods for you to sort of get the most out of this map. It doesn't actually state that anywhere, either on here in game or on the Mod Hub website. Um, but it did throw up a warning to me. I already had one of them installed, but I had to uh, download the other two. And they are placeable storage silo and low cost silos. They're both by ER Shabba VSR Modding Sir. And also the Robert Belfork pack by ETA La Marchoua, or something like that. Um, it will obviously let you know if you haven't got those. So just something to point out. Now I'm not going to read all of the description, but feel free to pause it or you can check it out on the Mod Hub website or even in game, whatever you want to do. There's a lot to get through in this map. Um, just a couple of snippets. There's 60 irregular fields, all kinds of shapes and sizes. Um, you'll find olive and almond trees and a multitude of factories. The possibility of producing more than 25 new products registered on this map that is awesome um, there is three different sort of stages that you can play this map on so there's a competitive um, choice you've got the standard choice and then you've got the pro version which has got everything all the factories if you just go on the competitive one we'll check them all out it's just a bit of fun doing some little tests there's not a lot else on the map um, you get start and different starting equipment than the other two modes. Um, in standard, it's a playable map. You've got everything on there if you want. Um, again, I'll go through different things. But in pro version, that is where you can have the more than 25 factories where you can produce more extra products and new products. But we will check them all out. I may do this in two parts depending on how we get on but there is a lot to get through it took me ages to go around the pro version so we will see but let's go and check it out right here we are we are in the competitive version of this map um, this is the map so if I zoom out here it is uh, we start off down here now this is actually your main farm in new farmer mode in the other two versions the standard and the pro version but we don't own that there's nothing showing up any triggers obviously you could still use this as a normal map if you wanted to play it like this but if i click on this in new farmer mode we own this area up here um, if you come on here and farm manager and start from scratch slot count is exactly the same but you don't own this plot but you can still mess around because that is where the competitive side of it takes place so i'm not going to go too in depth with this map or on the standard version we are going to do the main tour on the pro version because that has got everything on there so just something to note so yeah we start off down here like i say i'm not going to go mad so we will jump straight up over to here um so this is it this is where the activities take place i will talk you through them in a second um, this is the main entrance in and out which we can open there's a cool sign up there which tells you what the sort of games are you can play so number one mowing packing collecting and introducing the indicated place number two plow field plow the entire field with two and a half meter plow three is popular cut pack collect and introducing in the indicated place Number four, pallets, pick up, transport, and place on shelf. And number five is skill, reverse maneuver with fifth wheel trailer. Each activity does have its own instructions. So if we go up into build mode, as you can see on the left hand side, we do have the equipment because we are on our own. There's none over this side, but they are mirrored version. So you've got all the activities on either side. So if you come in here with a buddy, hopefully they'll have some equipment there as well. If not, you're going to have to bring it up from the shop. Obviously, you could use other equipment, but it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? So the slot count for this version of the map is 1420. And you do start off with different equipment than what you do in standard and pro version, because this is just a bit of fun up here. Um... I won't go into too much detail, but we get 
John Deere. We've got two medium tractors, a large fence, the mower, trailer, a plow, a couple of balers for your poplar and standard bows, a couple of front loaders, pallet forks, and then we've got the, well, it says telehandler tools there, but those, that pack can be adjusted to suit front loaders and skid steer loaders, etc. Whoa. I'm going to go on the right hand side because that has got the signs in English. So the first test is the grass mowing. So mow and grass, pack, collect, enter a set points. So this is your grass that you would mow. So you'd mow it, you'd bale it, um, and then I'm thinking you collect it. And I reckon you'd put it on top of these. A little bit like the strong men do with the Atlas stones. So I reckon you'd put it up there and they'd sort of sit resting in there like that do have five this side and five that side so i think five is for the grass bells and five is going to be for your popular bells so that'll be your first test if you're up against someone or just wanted to mess around on your own moving up to test number two is the plow field one use two and a half meter implement the field must be completely plowed gps or similar invalid and this is the field so you need to plow that up nice and tidy as quick as you can awesome and then we've got third test which is the popular cut i think that's going to say and not ant cut and pack pick up enter at set points so again you'd cut this bale it and then put them down i reckon onto those posts or whatever you want to call them skip back down here well that's handy because that is the next test Again, we've got the instructions over here. So this is the fourth test. Pallets, take from the shelf, transport without touching the cones, place on shelf. And it does say at the bottom there, touching cones will be a reason for a sanction to be determined. So again, you could sort of adjust the rules a little bit if you're on here with a mate and sort of kind of work out the best way to do it. Um, so you'd jump in that little John Deere I was in, you'd grab your front loader, you grab your pallet forks. Then we've got a couple of pallets up top, a couple of IBCs. You'd come all the way through these cones without touching them. Now again, whether you want to put them back where they are over there, so the IBCs there and the pallets up there, it's up to you. It's rules you can make up as you want to. Got a little bit of an area here where obviously people are coming in to eat and watch you make a fool of yourself. And then the final test is this one. This one had me a little bit baffled. Um, in terms of the instructions really so it says reverse maneuver to loading area field trailer go to download area reverse maneuver to unloading area download trailer so there's i'm assuming our tractor there's your trailer that is a swivel axle one as well so that's going to be fun um so yeah go to reverse maneuver to loading area well, this is going to be your loading area. So you'd load up with lime there. So then obviously you'd reverse. So I'm thinking you'd have to... What did it say? Go to download area. Because you have this bit down here. With a little line. So I don't know if you've got to come down, drive down to here and then reverse again. Or unless it's this maybe that it could be that actually but you've got a tip in point there which is what baffled me because but this is all coned off i'm thinking that actually i might have just sussed it <laughs> i think you reverse up load up drive down to this point then reverse up and then tip in there and then whatever get rid of your trailer so that is it that is the competitive side so bear with me and we'll go through a little bit of the standard version. And we're back for a bit of deja vu. So we are now in the standard version of this map. And if we go on the map, as you can see already, there's some extra things here, like so, um, including vehicles. There is nothing showing here now in terms of vehicles or equipment. I'm in new farmer mode. Um, we do still start off owning that area and we also get all this main farm area plus field 24 and 35 which is pretty nice 
Uh, I won't go too much into depth again on this version. I'm going to do that all in the pro version just because that is the sort of more action packed version. But this version, you could certainly come on and play as a normal map. Nothing stopping you. The sawmill has appeared down here. That doesn't appear on the competitive version. So if you do want to use it as a basic map, I would recommend coming on standard. But if you want all the bells and whistles, then go for pro because you've got the option to use those new sort of production units and produce some more new exciting products um yeah what i will say is where the production units are to buy in the pro version like here and here etc these plots are empty so if you want to buy them they're not too expensive just over 42 grand for that they are quite nice flat open areas i will show you as an example um if we can jump down to there and then I can go into landscaping mode. So I think this area would be the dairy in, yeah, you can see the sign is still there. But um, yeah, look at this, nice open. This on the pro version has got walls around it. So it's completely empty, nice placeable area if you want to do whatever you want really. The animal pens still are in place, but you will need to buy the land to use them in the standard version. The slot count for the standard version is 1,534 and that is the same across new farmer mode, farm manager and start from scratch. You do start off with exactly the same as equipment as you would in the pro version, but I'm going to show you all the equipment in the pro version because like I say, we're going to go, you know, in depth on that one, but we will go cover all that. We'll go through all the modded things and everything like that. Um, as we go but that is pretty much it for the standard version and like I say we'll do a proper tour around on the pro one so I will see you in a bit on the pro version